This video is going to be about uh, sight singing and what you can do to train your ear. Hope you don't mind, this is going to be a little more vlog-like. Uh, just didn't feel like setting up the tripod, so um, hope that's cool. You're in my kitchen. Um, so some things that you can do to start uh, to train your ear for the sight singing thing. Um, and I think this is the most important takeaway from this whole video, is to start singing every day. Um, now, what do you sing? We'll talk about that, but sing every day because you have to get used to singing. Some of you may be choral people and you're already really comfortable doing that. Um, I know that a lot of my students are band kids and while we're comfortable kind of with the saxophone voice and the sound of the baritone and whatnot, um, once we get to using our own voice, especially solo, right, by ourselves, um, it gets a little uneasy sometimes. So you have to become comfortable um, in singing and kind of get used to that. So here's some things that, that you can do. Obviously, you want to sing in major and in minor. So let me share with you some things that you can do to, uh, to get started in the major key. First, I think it's a, a, a great um, technique to have is to have a quick tune in your mind that will help you get into a major key or a minor key. I can tell you what it is for me and if you want to use that then that's fine. If you want to come up with your own then great. Um, my major key go-to is Joy to the World. I love it because I uh, can recognize the tune easily um, I can recall it easily in my brain, and it's uh, the opening line is a descending major scale. So I can come up with a, a range that's good for me, right? Starts at the top. Joy, joy to the world, the Lord is come, right? And put scale degrees to that. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, and then you're, you've kind of put your body and your brain into a major key feel, right? From there, what I would do is to start singing a major scale, but instead of singing the scale all the way up and down, is to add a note at a time. So, in other words, doing this. One, one, two, one, one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, three, two, one. I'm going to move faster just so you get the idea. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And I got a little pitchy up uh, ascending that time, but that's okay. You get the idea. So that's a great place to start. Do it slower. You don't have to do it that fast. I just don't want this video to be, you know, 40 minutes long. Um, after that, sing some triads, right? One, three, five, one, five, three, one. Um, another thing that you can do, that's a, that's a tonic triad, is to sing, um, combine tonic triads with dominant triads. And I think this is great for ear training. Sing an ascending tonic triad and a descending dominant triad. So in other words, we do this in marching band, uh, for those of you who are in our marching band. Um, in other words, one, three, five, one, seven, five, four, two, one. That's just a great way to train your ear into thinking harmonies as well. Uh, let's see what's next. Oh yeah, singing scales in thirds. So you're, you're going uh, 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 starting on the first note up to the third note to the second note to the fourth. So it's like this. One, three, two, four, three, five, four, six, five, seven, six, one, seven, two, one. Then go back up to two and go and keep descending. Two, seven, one, six, seven, five, six, four, five, three, four, two, three, one, two, seven, one. Three five one five three one three five one seven five four two one right and then you can add the triads afterwards of course um, so uh, that's a great technique um, you know a lot of you are drum corps fans and I would uh, sing some tuning progressions not.
not the space progression, <laughs> um, but sing some, you know, a very common DCI tuning progression is one, five, three, four, five, one, you know? And that also gets you thinking harmony. That's tonic, one, five, three, to predominant, four, to dominant, five, back to one. Um, you can also play around with that, um, and you can add another predominant chord, right? Making the progression a little stronger if you add the two chord after the four chord. So you go one, five, three, four, two, five, five, one. Yeah, and I just dropped an octave there. The five, five, one is a very popular ending. Um, and so, you know, that's fun to use that sometimes. Um, if you're feeling extra squirrely, and I was feeling extra squirrely today, you can create uh, from that bass line that I just sang, you can create three-part harmony from that. Um, and maybe even uh, if you download the acapella app, um, you can uh, sing that line and then add other lines to harmonize it, which I have done and I will share with you now. One, five, three, four, two, five, one. Okay, yeah, so that was fun. Um, hopefully you can, you can work on that and try that on your own. So that's, uh, of course, all in major. You need to do all of those things in a minor key as well. Um, so for a minor key, my go-to to get my ear and body and mind in a minor key is the Snake Charmer theme, right? Probably like sixth grade band uh, somewhere in the first 15, 10 or 15 pages, right? And that's one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, five, two, three, one. I had to think about the scale degree there. Um, so that that puts me in a minor feel. Da 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 one, three, five, one, five, three, one. So do your um your major scale singing on that. One, two, one, one, two, three, two, one. There's that half step between two and three. One, two, three, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's the half step between five and six. Five, four, three, two, one. You have a decision to make here. You've got different forms of the minor. I would suggest um, kind of practicing natural minor and harmonic minor. Don't worry so much about melodic for now. Uh, start with those two, and I would start with natural. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, I sang harmonic minor. I'll stick with that. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's see if I can sing the natural minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Had to take my time and really think about that whole step between uh, six and seven and seven and one, but, but I got it. Um, so, you know, that's a great to practice. The triads, right? One, three, five, one, five, three, one. One, two, three, practice going. If you lose where three is, sing up to it. One, two, three, there's your half step. Two, one, three, one, three, five, four, three, two, one, three, five, one, seven, five, four, two, one. So you can sing that as well. Of course, you can continue to practice the little DCI tuning, but in um, a minor key. Um, so you've got uh, one, five, three, and it, you know also another little tune. If you know that Bach, uh, the little fugue in G minor, da di da 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 di da 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 di da. Right? If you know that, that's that'll put you in a minor key for sure. That's one, five, three. So if you sang the DCI tuning, keep that in mind. One, five, three. Four, five, one, or our 
extended one. One, five, three, four, two, five, five, one. And again, if you're feeling extra squirrely, you can create the harmony for the minor key as well. One, five, three, four, two, five, five, five. And I'm not going to lie, the minor one was much harder to make for me uh, than as compared to the major. So what that tells me, though, is that I need more practice singing minor key examples. So um, don't be embarrassed if you make mistakes, right? It's not about whether you make mistakes or not when you're trying to prepare for this thing. If you make mistakes, it's why did you make mistakes? Well, because I'm more comfortable singing in a major key than a minor key. Okay, well now you know what you need to work on. So again, the the goal, though, is to sing every day and, and make that singing count, right? That You could take five to ten minutes every day, but if you sing every day, you'll get more comfortable singing and you're, you'll train your ear. We'll do some more videos coming up uh, to practice sight singing, but that's a good start for today. Happy practicing!